Hello, my name is Joseph Rosada and this is just a quick how to get a determinant uh, in the Maple application. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is click over here for the groupings. Okay, and then we're going to do a start to clear the cache of any values that may have been assigned to uh, anything that you've been working prior. And then this quick example, we are going to work with the Linout package. I'll do the semicolon. Make this bigger. So we're going to let A be equal to a quick simple matrix. Okay, so with this we are going to, we have a quick sy symmetrical simple little matrix and we are going to solve, uh, you could solve for either the bottom or the top. Uh, the matrix does not need to be symmetrical. Um, you can solve for the determinant either lower uh, triangle or the upper triangle and then you get the diagonal, uh, the product of the diagonal. So what we are going to do here is we're going to create a new value DA for the determinant. And I'm going to make this bigger. Okay, we're going to use the add row function. So we're going to tip the value A. We go take the first column into the second column by negative two times. Use the semicolon so to show the data. And here we have I make this bigger as well. So you can see the original. Okay, so we've made this into a zero. Now we will go down and use DA again. Add row. This time we are going to do the DA. So we take this value of the matrix and manipulate it further. So we're going to take row 1 into row 3 minus 4 times. Okay. So here we go. We have two zeros. And now we just need to solve for the bottom negative 12 there. Turn that into 0. So we're going to do one last time here. DA equals add row. So this time we're going to take column 2 into column 3, negative 2 times. Here, let's see, we have solved the bottom triangle. 
our diagonal is 2, negative 6, negative 6, which if you multiply should give you 72. You can use maple for that as well. Uh, take the easy way. 2 times negative 6 times negative 6 and we hit enter and you'll see you get 72 and this is a quick easy example however another nice little thing you could always do whenever you're, you're manually getting a determinant just to make sure you have an uh, mean any small errors you could always use the uh, there's a function where you can get the determinant directly in Mabel and we will do DA check to check our work is equal to determinant A and here you will see we come back to 72 and at the end of this video, there will be a link to my site. I have a few more files. It's a work in progress. I'll be adding more as time goes on. Uh, Maple help files, uh, including this example and uh, a few other examples on some other things that uh, can be helpful in, in uh, Maple as well. So I hope this helps, and you have a great day. Bye.